If you're planning a casual or rustic wedding, what could be better than cupcakes for the happy couple? And my pink lemonade cupcakes? Well, they're playful and delicious. And they're easy to make too. You're gonna love this recipe. So the first thing I'm going to do is sift all my dry ingredients together in my mixing bowl. I have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Into her sifter. And two thirds of a cup of granulated sugar. She adds it. Along with two teaspoons of baking powder and half a teaspoon of baking soda. She adds those too. Give this a quick sift. She taps the sides of the sifter, blending her dry ingredients into her mixing bowl. And now we need some lemon flavor. She grabs a lemon and a micro grater. Finely grated zest of one lemon. Then she grabs a whisk. And the first thing I do before I add the liquids is whisk the lemon zest into the dry mixture just to work it in, let that flavor come through. The next step, the liquids. And a new bowl. So I like to use buttermilk for this cupcake recipe. She pours some into the bowl. Instead of butter for this recipe, I actually like using vegetable oil. I have half a cup here. And the reason I like to do that is it keeps the cupcakes moist and tender for longer. So if they're going to sit out on display, they won't go stale. I've got two tablespoons of lemon juice. She pours it in. A teaspoon of vanilla. That too, straight from the bottle. And for eggs, I have two whole eggs and one large egg yolk. Give this a little whisk. And I add this all at once to the dry mixture. Mix slowly at first, just to incorporate the dry ingredients. And then once everything's blended, you'll see a few lumps at this point, but that's okay. She whisks it harder now. And just put your elbow into it. You do want to smooth it out, but it's no need to pull out the electric beaters for this one. You can do this by hand. So this just gives a chance for the sugar to dissolve in the batter. And as soon as you see it smooth, it's ready to go. Now remember, I called these pink lemonade cupcakes. Well, this isn't pink. And the difference between lemonade and pink lemonade, pink color. So I'm going to add two drops of pink food coloring gel. She does. You could use paste if you want. When you use the coloring gels, the color is quite intense. She now whisks the color through. So if you're not sure, add one drop first. You can always add a second. She taps the last of the batter off the whisk and grabs a lined cupcake tray. The best thing for portioning is using a mechanical scoop or an ice cream scoop. You wanna fill the cupcakes about two thirds full. How simple is that? Now, I've preheated my oven to 350, and these only take 15 to 18 minutes. And I test the doneness just by touching the top. If it springs back, I know they're done. The tray's now in, she closes the oven. And later. And here are my cooled cupcakes. And you can see they retain the pink color even on the outside. Sometimes when you tint a cupcake, it'll brown on top and you don't see it till you rip it open. I love that you can see the pink and you know it's all the way through. So let's make a lemon frosting to match the lemon flavor in the cupcakes and still play on that pink lemonade idea. So I'm going to do a swirl of pink, yellow, and white frosting, but it will be lemon flavored. I have one and a half cups of unsalted butter. I have my icing sugar here, six cups, and I'm first going to add half of it. To the butter. And you know, I used to be so fussy about having to sift all your icing sugar before you put it in with your butter. But honestly, you whip this frosting so much that any lumps in the icing sugar work themselves out. So save yourself that step. She starts her stand mixer. Of course, low speed when you start. And later, she raises the beater. Okay. So once you've got that first batch of icing sugar combined, you can add the second batch. So six cups in total. She adds the rest of her icing sugar and restarts the mixer. And again later. There we go. Now you will find at this point, the frosting is very dense and heavy. I'm adding three tablespoons of lemon juice. And now I'll also add my lemon zest. She grabs a lemon. I don't put quite as much lemon zest as I do in the cupcake. And grapes. Simply because I don't want the zest to get stuck in the points of my piping tip. So just a little. And normally I would add either milk or half and half cream, but because I added the lemon juice, you need to use whipping cream. So this is a quarter cup of cold whipping cream that I'm pouring in. Half a teaspoon of salt and my vanilla. Once again from the bottle. She then restarts the mixer. And minutes later. Let's get ready to make a pink lemonade twist. She divides the icing. Just like with the cupcakes, start with a little, you can always add more. Food coloring. I'm gonna spoon each color into a small piping bag. Once you have your three colors lined up, 
Grab a small piece of plastic wrap. We're gonna pipe about half of the frosting in a large stripe. Rows of each color. They don't have to be layered on each perfectly other. measured or perfectly aligned at this point, because they're all going to get intertwined and twisted together. She rolls them. Now, take your large piping bag, drop the whole thing of plastic right in the bag, and then away you go. The colors intertwine as she pipes. So pretty. It really sings of pink lemonade. Swirls of pink, white, and yellow. Adds a nice pop of color to any dessert table. On top of each cupcake. And don't feel you have to only serve these at a wedding, of course. They're now topped with candied fruit. Oh, just so playful. I know when you make these cupcakes, you will feel proud, whether it's your wedding or you're bringing them to someone else's. Now she peels one. Ooh, another plus of a good cupcake recipe, it peels away easily from the paper. She drops the foil cup and toasts with the cupcake. To the happy couple. Then she takes a bite, chuckles as she chews, <laughs> and nods mm, with a smile. Mm -hmm. 